At a time when BrahMos Aerospace is building a new facility near Lucknow for the production of the BrahMos NG missile from mid-2024, latest media reports have indicated that the BrahMos NG will be ready to conduct its first development test by the end of this year. The 290 km range BrahMos NG will have a speed of Mach 3.5 and will feature a smaller radar cross-section, which would make it harder for air defense systems to locate and engage it. A number of countries including Greece, Brazil and Vietnam have expressed interest in the BrahMos NG, as it can be fired from land, sea and air. Each BrahMos NG missile will cost over $2.6 million, and the initial production rate will be 80 to 100 missiles per year, and the deliveries will begin from 2025. The commander of the UAE Air Force met with the Indian Air Force chief yesterday and discussed ways to enhance the existing bilateral ties and strengthen cooperation in areas of mutual interest. India operates 36 Rafale fighter jets and the UAE Air Force has also placed an order for 80 Rafale fighter jets and there are reports that during the recently held India UAE France ministerial trilateral in New York, the special focus was on Rafale fighter jets and the three countries are keen to form a trilateral Rafale forum, in which India will be playing a key role. The Indian private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited has submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Defence, to develop an indigenous all-weather high-mobility artillery rocket system, which is similar to the HIMARS system used by the US Army. The system will have a range of 250 kilometers and will feature shoot and scoot capability, which means that the highly mobile weapon system can fire and retreat at speed, thus reducing the chance of being targeted by the enemy. Swedish defense firm Saab Group has announced that its Carl Gustav M4 weapon system will be manufactured in India, which will also be the first time that the M4 system will be manufactured outside Sweden. A Saab-owned Indian entity Saab India Private Limited will manufacture the Carl Gustav M4, and the first product rollout will take place in early 2024, that will be available for export to other countries as well. India is already producing the M2 and M3 variant, and Saab has already delivered an unspecified number of Carl Gustav M4 variant to the Indian Army's Paris Special Forces. In a significant development, the Border Security Force has started deploying laser-equipped anti-drone systems and anti-drone guns at 30 spots in Punjab, along the international border with Pakistan. The laser-equipped anti-drone system can detect drones at 4 km, and can bring down a target using laser from 2 km. The anti-drone guns deployed by BSF can be handheld and mounted on vehicles, that can jam the intruding drones from 2.5 km, and can force the UAV to land within 10 seconds after the detection. According to an internal assessment of Hindustan Aeronautics, the RTA-90NG aircraft proposed by National Aerospace Laboratories won't make a good transport aircraft for the Indian Air Force, as it has limited payload carrying capabilities, which is less than the Airbus Tata C-295 ordered by the Indian Air Force, thus the RTA-90NG is unlikely to provoke any orders from the Air Force. HAL is also holding discussions with the Brazilian firm Embraer to locally build the C-390 Millennium for the Indian Air Force. For the first time, all the 23 Indian Institute of Technologies are coming together for a research and development fair that will be held on 14th and 15th October, with an aim to localize the components of drones like propeller system composites or cameras. The chairman of the R&D committee has said, that currently all components required for the assembly of drones are imported, and it will take 7 to 8 years for India to become self-reliant in the assembly of UAVs. Oh,